Hello and welcome to the EUC show. It's your man John here and this is the only show on the internet devoted to all things EUC. The place where you can come to be both educated and entertained and who knows, maybe even find yourself along the way. It's News Roundup, the part of the show where I take a look at EUC headlines from around the world. Bigode have released some more images of the EX30, and if this isn't the sort of stuff that makes your testosterone levels surge or gives you a tingle in your undercarriage, then I don't think we can be friends. With a 4000 watt motor, 134 volt battery and 36 high performance MOSFETs, this is clearly an impressive top end machine. They have, however, failed to provide details of the weight of this beast, and if my estimates are right, it will have the same mass and density as a black hole. <laughs> Can't shift that. King Song have continued to show updated versions of some of their classic wheels. It's a bit like Elton John bringing out his biggest hits with a dance beat underneath them. Here are images of the updated 16S, which was originally launched back in 2017. From what I can see, this appears to be mostly a cosmetic facelift, but the inclusion of power pads and an improved battery management system can only add to what was already a fantastic little rocket of a wheel. No new wheels announced this week from Inmotion, but they were the only manufacturer to acknowledge the Football World Cup, which starts this week. And I have to give them some credit for this great bit of artwork they published. They clearly have an intern with a degree in Photoshop, and they are not letting it go to waste. Now it's time for riders and sliders. Here's where I show you some footage of people showing off their skills or getting senselessly hurt. When someone says you're on fire, it usually means you're doing well, unless you are mono man. Here he shows a rider who is actually on fire. I'm not sure if your contents insurers will cover this and I'm not convinced this is good advice for anyone who has sleepless nights about batteries igniting. I've seen so many videos of people riding down flights of stairs that I've become immune to the thought that this is anything special or difficult to do. Until I saw this guy. What the What? What What I don't speak his language, but I know exactly what he's saying. He's saying to his mate, Trevor, you bell end. You said this was easy and now I've got excrement flowing down my trouser leg. And once again, with the original audio. What the What? What And here we have another living legend, out menacing youths at the local BMX track. He's old enough to be their granddad, but he don't care. He's wrapped up in so much body armour, they think he's Robocop, and they are sensibly keeping at a safe distance. He's getting some good air on his EUC until it all goes belly up. His wheel has spotted a kid on a bike and wants to have a go at knocking him off it, but Robocop has tethered his wheel to his hips, stopping all the danger in its tracks. That is until the tether snaps off, swings back and either decapitates the rider, or in a best case scenario, smacks him like a whip crack straight in the plums. And here's the part of the show where I trawl through social media, bringing you the best and often the worst of what it has to offer. Here we have a chat with a 3D printer and a cracking business plan. You could call it a Christmas cracker of an idea. He has started to work on a Christmas tree ornament designed on what looks like a Bigode RS. I'm not sure if they'll be in the shops by Christmas, but I for one want one. And if you watched a previous episode of the EUC show, you would have seen my comments on the Bikini Girl who was all over Facebook. Well, there are some things you might never be able to unsee once you've seen them, no matter how much therapy or counselling you have. And here is such an example. A great friend of the channel, Neon EUC, went all out, and I mean that literally, to show that it isn't just the girls who can turn heads riding EUCs in skimpy underwear. I noticed he has limited his riding to inside the house though. I think we need to start a campaign to get him out like this in public places. If you have been affected by any of the images in this episode of the EUC show, please seek medical advice from a trained professional. And to lift the mood a bit, let's take a look at this. Here we see EUC Wheeler with a possum on his head. Apparently it ran straight up his arm and onto his head. There is no evidence of what happened next however.
And now it's time for Readers Lives. This is the point where I read out some of the comments I've received on my recent videos. Michael Lenoimi commented saying, Okay, this humour didn't work for me. It was just sad and pessimistic without even a hint of irony. Fair enough, you can't win them all. And at least I now know what my niche is. Be Priceless commented on my last episode and the item on the brave folks using EUCs for mountain rescue. He said, all police departments and security companies should be using EUCs, not to mention the military. And while in principle I agree and I'm absolutely convinced that EUCs could help in many crisis situations, can you seriously comprehend what would happen if EUCs were actually given to our brave and courageous armed forces? Well, that wraps it up for this time. Thanks for watching. If you've liked it, smash the like button. And if you're feeling generous, tell other people about the show too. And if you're feeling really, really generous, go online and buy me an EUC Christmas tree ornament. See you next time. Love you. Bye.